Hey everybody, and this is a video on how to make your server for the most part lag free. So, uh, this is an alternate version of Craft Bucket, and it's called Spigot. So, what is Spigot? Spigot is a. <laughs> it says Spigot is the special sauce used in many of the world's top Minecraft servers to ensure that they can cope with their huge player base and ensure the satisfaction of their players by reducing and eliminating many causes of lag. So, really, it just cuts down on CPU usage and makes uh, lots of tweaks to Craft Bucket that makes your players a lot less laggy. So, it's just awesome. And, um, see, Spigot is a huge collection of various tweaks to the stock Craft Bucket to increase performance. And it's as flexible as Craft Bucket is. So, it works with all your plugins for the most part and I haven't had any problems with plugins on a spigot server so it uses the same API that craft bucket does so that you can use the same plugins that craft bucket uses um, and it's just awesome so how to download you just hit downloads and that will bring you to this page and right here you just click on spigot.jar and it will download for you uh, you can see here last stable build was uploaded nine hours and 59 minutes ago so they have new even better builds every it seems like every day for me I don't check it every day but every time I do check it there's a new uh, there's a brand new build so there's bug fixes and whatnot and these guys are just like working pretty hard to make sure that uh, it works so once you download it just drag it out here and there's two ways of bringing it up on your server so here's our server and see we have our craft bucket dot jar and our starter or run or whatever dot bat uh, you have so I'm just gonna hit edit and that's a big window okay yeah, so here's here's our little code um, that we have. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so like I said, there's two ways of doing this. You can either drag the spigot.jar into here and change this part of the code. Uh, I know lots of people have different codes, but this, um, this will always be there, what to run. So it usually runs craftbucket.jar. So you can either change this to spigot.jar or you can just rename this craft bucket and uh, have it run the craft bucket jar, jar which would really be the spigot. So yeah, I'll just save that and let's delete that and whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, <laughs> there we go, hit starter. And here we go. See, so it says the server is running. Let's go back up here. The server is running Craft Bucket version, and then it says Spigot. So this really is so close to Spigot. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you a few things that Spigot has to offer too. So after this is done loading, creating the spawn area, we'll let that happen. Okay. So, I put in a few plugins here just to show you that it works. So, I had just popular plugins, World Guard, Essentials, uh, No Cheat, Permissions X, World Edit, yeah. Anyways, so I'm just going to type in stop and press enter and that will save everything. Alright, so once you have the... Uh, once you have everything loaded up and whatnot, you should have this spigot.yml. So, this has a lot of cool features that um, you can customize. So, there's this thing called Bungie Cord, and Bungie Cord only works with spigot servers, and it's basically like connecting two servers uh, to one. Like, you can have a hub server and then go through a portal and you go to a completely different server. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. 
So it also has like custom messages, so you know you are not whitelisted on this server or uh, unknown command. You can just you can customize that completely. Like I'm white listing for a moment. Check back later or whatever. Like if you want to have the server like under construction or whatnot. You can just have, instead of you are not on the whitelist, and everyone will flip out like, Oh my gosh, I'm not on the whitelist. Oh my gosh, are you whitelisting the server and everything? Because uh, that's happened before. That's definitely happened before. Uh, you can just have a custom message saying, I'm whitelisting the server for a moment. Check back later. So they won't, they'll be like, oh, okay. Uh, this actually does have a uh, custom anti-x-ray. So uh, I think there's like two engine modes. Um, I might mix them up, but I think the first engine mode is like any ore that has an air block next to it that's dark or something, and it hides it. Anyways, uh, and then engine mode two is just everything underneath you is disguised or something. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I do know it works because I've tried it before, so that's awesome. Um, there's all these different modifiers so you can change like how fast cactuses or cane sugar cane or melon or mushrooms grow uh, I You don't need to mess with any of this at all uh, Something that it does to help with lag is Merge radius so like any items next to each other will all merge into one group so that you don't have a ton of items on your server Yeah, it's 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 pretty awesome, man. I enjoy using it, and I hope you guys can enjoy using it. Uh, the website will be in the description if you want to, uh, you know, see the website and download it for yourself. Uh, big shout out to these guys because they rock, and I'm very happy that they made it because it prevents lag really well. So. Yeah, it's just a secret tip that I don't think a ton of people know about. Um, comment below and tell me if it worked for you. And as always, if you liked this video, a like button is appreciated. It only takes like a half a second of your time, so uh, but it really means a lot to me. And also subscribe if this helped you. Uh, anyways, I'm Delatora, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.